Okay, so it's been another week. Where am I this week? Well, this week, I've been kind of busy. I got a lot done. I applied for a lot of jobs. I've started applying for literally anything that sounds like they might want me. So on Monday, I stumbled across a job where they were looking for actors with beards, and I've done some amateur acting with my friends, and I have a beard, so I sent them an email. They asked for an audition video. I haven't heard from them since, but I tried. I don't think that I necessarily understood what they were asking for when I shot my video, but I made the attempt. I did get a rejection from one of the engineering sales positions. They said, oh, we don't hire anyone with less than four years of experience. And it's like, I have three in sales, and I have an engineering degree. How much more are you looking for? But they, they told me four years in sales, four years engineering, whatever. Try not be bitter about it because it's very frustrating to be rejected for lack of experience when the only thing holding you up is that nobody will hire you. I did put in a number of new applications. One of them was with a company I've applied with them before and I didn't get anything back from them but this time they seem to have a position that was kind of entry level, not looking for too much experience, so I have a phone interview for that tomorrow, and we'll just hope it goes well. Also last week, I went to the Bon Odori event. It was in Charlotte. It's a kind of Japanese festival with taiko drums. I really like the drums. <laughs> Lots of different Japanese culture things. It's not really so much anime as the culture itself, but I had a good time. I picked up some information about the JET program because apparently that's also a thing. It doesn't look like it's going to do me any good in the near future, but if I manage to survive for the next year, then it might work. But I've uh, Right now, I'm focused on finding a job right away. So, other than that, I did end up going to a Japanese restaurant for dinner. But I wanted to go there for lunch, but they weren't open for lunch. So, I ended up at Amale's very randomly because I'd been trying to go there for years, but I just never found myself down there. And when it was literally right next door to where I was going and I needed lunch, I thought, well... I'll go there now, and it was actually a very good lunch. So I was pleasantly surprised by how satisfying the sandwich and the soup was. And I also got my name in kanji. They probably just made everything up, but they seemed to have a lot of papers and were very official acting about it. So I got my name written in kanji. And, you know, some kind of calligraphy. And then for dinner, I went to Red Ginger, which was a Japanese restaurant. I wanted to cap off the day with some Japanese food that I was confident would be quite good. I had a good time, and I got udon at Red Ginger. So that was that. The other thing that I did this past week, that was what I did Wednesday, was I put together some cardboard gears just to explore experimenting with them and seeing what I could do and how they would work. So they seem to be working. Other than that, I just need to remember to take my vitamin D because I get so much more done when I remember to take it and so much less done when I don't. Yeah, I was also playing Stellaris. That's most of what I did today, Sunday. I was 
doing quite well, I decided I was going to roleplay an evil empire, and after I had emptied out half the galaxy, this one group of people was like, hey, you need to stop your atrocities, and I was like, do you know who I am? Also, I'm getting really bored in this galaxy, so yeah, if you want to fight, let's go. I lost miserably. It was a fallen empire, but you know what? It was fun. It was a fun experience, and I'm going to be playing some more. Every time I think I'm getting bored with that game, something interesting happens, and then I'm like, oh, well, we'll just play one more game. So that's kind of a good thing, right? 